Hi, I would like to give a quick overview of the three different ways to amplify your instrument. Microphones, transducers or pickups, and electronic instruments. Let's start with microphones. The standing microphone is the easiest way to amplify your instrument. You want to get as close to the microphone with your instrument without hurting your instrument. Now, the standing microphone is a good way to amplify an instrument, but sometimes it's not loud enough. So the next step is to use a lavalier microphone. That's a small microphone that attaches very close to your instrument. I put this one right on the strings right behind the bridge. It causes no harm to my nice old Italian violin. Now microphones are great because you can use it on any instrument and it picks up the whole sound of the instrument. But the problem with microphones is that they can't get as loud as another way to amplify your instrument. And if you get them too loud, we get feedback, which is a very undesirable sound. Feedback is that squealing sound. So the next step would be to use a pickup or a transducer. And I have a couple right here. First of all, I have a pickup that attaches to the bridge of the instrument. We slide this one right in here. And the bridge is probably the best place to attach a pickup to. And uh, this can be a very, very nice way to amplify an instrument and uh, uh, an easy way to do it as well. Sometimes we have some feedback problems, but not as much as with microphones. The next step would be to use a bridge that is actually has the pickup built right into it. And this is a wonderful way to amplify an instrument. You probably want to have the bridge stay on your instrument here and, uh, uh, you, and a violin maker fit that to it as well. But uh, this is often just enough uh, for any uh, jazz violinist or fiddler. Uh, and sometimes uh, some players will actually have a microphone also with the pickup here and blend the two together and that can be a wonderful sound as well. Now if you're playing really, really loud, then you might want to think about playing a solid body electric instrument. And we have one here. This one also has a C string. Now the solid body electronic instrument is really great because you have no feedback whatsoever with it. There's no way that it can feedback and you can use all sorts of effects with it as well. Um, we'll get to effects in one second, but uh, it's just another way to amplify your instrument. The fun thing about these instruments also, you can make them any shape uh, and uh, any color you like and we can have all sorts of crazy looking instruments. Uh, one other way to amplify your instrument is with an electric instrument that actually has a hollow body like an electronic violin but uh, so you have the overtones of a violin but you have very little if no feedback as well with this sound. This is what uh, I prefer to use. Now once you have your electronic instrument then the next thing you need to do is have an amplifier. Uh, I have several here. I have some solid state over here and tube instruments over here. Solid state um, are very, very practical. Uh, they require no maintenance whatsoever and uh, they're usually not that heavy and that's very important because you want to think about that when you buy an, inst uh, buy an amplifier. You don't want to carry around something too heavy for you, or do you? Maybe you do. Um, but I certainly want to have something very practical to carry around. Uh, the tube instruments uh, amplifiers here are really nice. They have some really, really warm sounds, but they can be heavy and also require maintenance. So that's something to think about as well. Uh, so think about that, how much power you need, and, uh, and there's so many different options for uh, amplifiers these days, but you want to think about what's practical for you to carry around, how much power you need, and, uh, and, and, and uh, you can use guitar amplifiers, keyboard amplifiers, uh, PA amplifiers, there's all sorts of different amplifiers you can try. Um, and then, if you want to change the sound of your instrument, we have what is called effects. Now most amplifiers have reverb, which is the sound that makes it sound like it's in a, in a big room like we have right here. That's reverb. Uh, another effect that I like to use
blues is uh, the delay, and I have that here. <laughs> Getting that sound through a board here, we call this a multi-effects pedal, and this has several effects built into it. You can buy your effects as single stomp boxes like this, but I prefer to have it all in one. Uh, another effect I like to use is the phase. And then there's distortion. the volume pedal. A volume pedal is really important because sometimes we really need to drastically control our volume and we can't do that without stopping playing. So the foot pedal, volume pedal, is a wonderful thing to have. I usually have that with me at all times. Well, have fun trying out all these different ways to amplify your instrument. I hope you find the one for you and uh, have fun jamming.